Okay, now in today's video, I am going to be showing you why high interest women, and that means women who have genuine high interest in you, okay, these are the types of women that will oftentimes make men drop their guard the fastest. You need to watch out for this because when you attract a beautiful woman or a feminine woman into your life, you are going to think that she naturally likes you. You are going to believe that she can do no wrong. You are going to believe that she can do no harm. So what I'm going to be showing you is how to not make these mistakes because what you will notice is that even women with high interest, they are not going to like you for you and they are not going to consistently just be pre-sold on your value. They will constantly evaluate you. They are constantly looking for any amount of emotional weakness or emotional attachment. And what I'm going to be showing you in this video is how to spot the signs of a high interest woman and then make sure that you do not make the mistakes that majority of men make. This video will drastically help your dating life. Now, after this video is over, be sure to go down below, click the link in the description and check out the full length MBT masculine behavioral technique, full length end to end webinar presentation that I put together for you because what we do inside of that presentation is we take some of these concepts you're going to learn on today's video and we take them even a step further in that presentation so that way you can get results at a far quicker pace. Let's dive in. Okay, this is a very important video and I know I say that in a lot of videos but I believe all of my videos are important, okay? Today I'm showing you why high interest women will make men drop their guard and lose their masculine frame the fastest. So, here's what you have to know going into this. The attitude of a high interest woman towards you will look exactly like this. She will be sweet 100% of the time when you're first seeing her. She will be flirty and reciprocate interest. She will constantly speak with a soft tone Okay, because she wants to be feminine around you. She will call and text you a lot, which means she will naturally make herself available and she will always open up time in her schedule to see you. Well, what do you think happens in a guy's head? A guy sees this and he goes, hmm, she likes me. She sold on me. She really wants me. The game is just beginning. This is the attitude of a high interest woman. Okay, now to add fuel to the fire, the more beautiful that she is, the more you really want her. Not only do you love all of these attitude, like personality traits, but you really think she's cute. You, you think she's gorgeous. That woman's hot. Well, since you think she's hot, guess what? You want her. Now, guess what? On top of that, this is a massive trap because when you start to see this, here's the trap that you're going to be found in. You now believe that you found a good one. Like you, you will tell yourself, I found a good girl. Oh, look at me. I found a good girl. And you believe that you actually found a woman who likes you for you. Now, the mistake is that you now interject zero tension into the relationship because you tell yourself she's different. You sell yourself the lie that she's different. And this is why super feminine women will, and women who show high interest will make even masculine men drop their guard because what will happen is you will, you believe that she is naturally going to stay that way. This is a huge trap that majority of men fall into. And this is something you have to spot. Now, here's why she was treating you good in the first place. And I'm going to show you how to make sure you can maximize that treatment. So that way it stays. The reason why she was treating you good is for one reason and one reason only. Deep down, she feels or she felt that your sexual market value was above hers. She looked up to you. She thought that you were a prize. She thought that you were the catch. She was like, oh my gosh, I got one. I got the guy I want or look at this guy. I really want him. He, maybe he's tall. Maybe he's good looking. Maybe he's prestigious. Maybe he has a lot of muscle. Maybe he has six pack abs. Maybe he has two Ferraris. I don't care what the reason was but she feels that his sexual market value is above hers. Okay. So that means going into this, she assumed that you had higher status than she did. Well, if a man has higher status, naturally that woman will believe that he has access to options that are even more attractive than her, or at least the same level of attractiveness. So she assumed that you had higher status and more options. So you would not have been won over so easy. Okay, this is the big question mark for women is that when they act super feminine towards a man, oftentimes he does, he no longer acts masculine. 
Okay, what happens is he loses that frame. He, he drops his guard. He stops acting like a man's man. And this is not what she wants. And this leaves her confused because it's like she's sitting there going, you had all the boxes checked, but then you stopped acting manly. You stopped acting how, like, how I assume that you would. So she assumed that you had higher status and more options so you wouldn't have been won over so easy. Which means in the beginning when she first met you, her hypergamy was satisfied. She went into it with the preconceived notion that it would be hard to win you over. And I don't care what level of status you're at. If you're an NFL football player and you commit super easily and you say, yes, baby, I love you right off the bat, right, off the, right out of the gate, she's not going to want you. If you are a famous basketball player, if you're a famous musician, if you're a famous Hollywood actor, the second that that man does not carry himself as such, meaning... I'm higher value. It's going to be hard for you to win me over. My time is limited. The second that she knows you respond to every text, every phone call, the second that you don't make it hard for her to obtain access to you is the second she does not want you. Nobody is immune to this. The second that any like famous or high status man or high income earning man does not demonstrate the right masculinity characteristics that women respond to. She loses attraction. And I'm going to tell you something. She can't help it. It is not her fault. This is how they're wired. If they're wired this way, your job is to be smarter than the majority of men. Learn the competency skills that's needed to not only attract women, but also retain them and then do the opposite of what 99% of guys do. So she assumed that you had higher status, which means her hypergamy was satisfied. So now what happens? Well, now you're nice to her. Now you're sweet. Now you're a gentleman. Now you say, baby, baby, I love you, right? You guys aren't just sleeping together. No, 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 no. You're making love. Oh yeah. You're kissing her. You're smelling her hair. You think her perfume smells so good. You're nice to her. You're like a teddy bear. She thought you were a strong guy. Now you're like a teddy bear. By the end of it, She's not super attracted to you. You're nice to her. So that means you think she will reciprocate. See, that's another thing. You believe that she'll naturally just keep reciprocating this high interest attitude. No, 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 no. That is not how this works. You think that she'll be sweet forever. And then you lose your masculine frame and now she leaves you. And then you sit there wondering why. You sit there wondering, how could a woman go from 10 out of 10 sky high interest? How could we go from high interest to zero interest just like that. Let me explain. You got to understand going into this, when you date women, it's easy to maintain masculine energy and not over pursue when you're dealing with a woman who has low interest or is rude or abrasive. Say this one more time. It is easy to maintain masculine energy and not over pursue when you're dealing with a woman who has lower interest or is rude or is abrasive. So this, this woman could have 10 out of 10 model quality looks, but if she's rude and she's abrasive and you can tell she's not necessarily sold on you, she's not flirting super hard. She's not being sweet. It's easy to put your guard up. It's easy to be more cocky. It's easy to have that arrogant kind of masculine energy or persona that you carry yourself with, because then what's going to happen is you're going to notice that she will start to drop a lot of these abrasive or rude characteristics. Her interest peaks. Well, as her interest peaks, you put her in a different category from the get go. You put her in the category as a woman who's probably not super interested. Okay, that's fine. But see the, the girl over here with high interest, you categorized her differently right out of the, right out of the, the start, which means you started treating her differently. So women, okay. When they have like, read this one more time. It is easy to maintain masculine energy and not over pursue when you are dealing with a woman who has low interest or is rude or is abrasive. That's easy. The feminine dime though, the feminine dime will trick you. The feminine dime will have you tricked because you think she is naturally 100% of the time sweet. You believe she is naturally 100% of the time caring. You believe that she naturally will reciprocate love, mutual respect and mutual interest. And that is not how this works. You think that she is pre sold on you. You think that she's pre sold on your value. You think that you are high value enough as is to consistently maintain this woman. If you choose to do so, you forget 
that she's evaluating you 24 seven. You forget that she's evaluating the tone of your voice, how you look at her, how, how you speak to her. She's evaluating if you're going weak for her. She's evaluating if you're going weak for her beauty. She's evaluating if you are going emotionally, if you're getting emotionally attached to her. 24 seven, she is looking at the status of this man. She's constantly looking at that guy saying, how does he feel about me? Is he attached? Is he, is he losing his strength? Is he becoming emotionally invested to the point where I no longer feel like he's strong and stable? See, this is what she's doing. You forget that she's evaluating you 24 seven. You believe she likes you for you. So instead of being indifferent, like you typically are, instead of being a bit distant, instead of making, you know, making it harder for the woman to access you, you over invest right away. Okay. You believe that she likes you for you. Now understand women don't love the same as a man. She desires her opposite. Guys, you have to understand this, like this has to sink in, write this down in a, note, in a notebook if you need to, I don't care what you have to do, but you have to understand women do not love the same as you do. They just don't. They're constantly only loving you for strength. They are only loving you for masculine energy. They are only loving you because you're able to demonstrate masculine indifference towards her beauty. And she only consistently stays loving you when she can tell that her beauty has no power over you. That is the only way. So she desires her opposite. That means you got to look at this from the get go opposites attract. But what does that really mean? That means if she's sweet, she's flirty, she's caring. That means oftentimes she desires her opposite. Just because she's showing that level of care and love does not mean that that's what she's going to be wanting in return to keep her attracted. So take this a step further. Being nice, being sweet and being caring back to a woman is reciprocating feminine energy. Now you've lost your manhood. She thinks that you're emotionally attached. She thinks that you are weak for her beauty. That means the nicest, sweetest, most feminine women will still chase arrogant assholes who act superior. Let that sink in one more time. The nicest, sweetest, most feminine women will still chase arrogant assholes who act superior. Why? Because like I said over here, it's about her opposite. She desires her opposite. If she's loving, caring, sweet, that means she desires the arrogant asshole who acts superior. That means you as a man can never drop your guard. And what that means is you can't even look at it as a guard. You have to literally step into your own masculinity and stay there. Just like you're wanting a woman to step into that femininity and stay there. She's desiring a man who does not go weak for her beauty. This is step by step exactly why high interest women will make men and even high value men, even multimillionaires, even guys with a lot of status, even guys who are famous, even guys who are good looking, even guys who are tall, high interest women make men drop their guard and lose frame fastest. You have to spot this. You cannot fall into this trap. Okay. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.